What's up everyone, it's Sejo here and welcome to another video tutorial. So guess what, this is my first video tutorial in Photoshop and in this video I'll be teaching you a photo manipulation effect in Photoshop that is smoke effect. So let's get started. So after the effect is done, this is how our picture is gonna look like. So uh, let's get started and uh, this is my uh, picture, the plain picture. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta open your picture in Photoshop and the first thing is you gotta remove the background of the uh, picture and you gotta change the background to white color. It may be any plain color but it's recommended uh, to choose white color. So I'm gonna remove the background from this picture so I'm gonna select the quick selection tool from here and I'm gonna drag from top to bottom just like this and uh, okay now I'm gonna use the refine edge tool so yeah it's perfect so uh, um, as you could see I have selected the image and I'm gonna open a new window and I'm gonna set the dimensions as let's say 2000 into 1500 so I'm gonna uh, copy uh, this selected region I'm gonna go to edit and then copy or you can directly hold ctrl C on your keyboard and then go to the uh, newly opened window and paste it there so here we go here is the uh, the main section of the image now hold Control T on your keyboard and then you can uh, maximize or you can increase the size of this image as you want. So I'm going to set the size to uh, something like this and after you set the size hit enter on your keyboard. So here we go now we have the uh, image with the white background. Uh, the next thing is uh, you got to uh, hold Control on your keyboard and then select both the layer one and the background and select a right click or uh, and select merge layers so after you merge the layers you will see a single layer over here named as background which is a locked layer so now you got to make two copies of this layer so to do that just select the uh, background uh, layer and then uh, hold ctrl j on your keyboard uh, hold it twice so that you get two copies of the layer you get layer one and the layer one copy so what you gotta do is select the layer one and uh, uh, select the rectangle tool and then select the uh, part of the I mean select the image like this and once you do that right click and select fill and from here uh, select white and then click on OK so once you do that you see the uh, image appeared and we have a total plain white uh, background here. So anyway, uh, the next thing is go to layer 1 copy and then uh, select the quick selection tool and firstly right click on the uh, selected part and then select deselect. Now you got to select the, uh, the image using the quick selection tool. So as usual, drag from uh, top to bottom just like this as we did before. And uh, you can make use of the refine edge tool. So perfect. Now uh, once you select the uh, face of the image, like uh, face of the portrait, then you got to hold Control J on your keyboard uh, two times so that you get two uh, copies of the image itself with the, without any background. So here we go. These are the uh, two copies we have with the transparent background. So anyway, uh, once you do that, uh, select the layer two, that is the layer with a transparent background, and then go to filter and then go to liquify or you can directly hold shift plus control plus x on your keyboard that is a short key and once you click on liquify set the brush size to around 300 and then uh, you know 
liquefy the image in the direction you want your flames to be uh, not the flames actually uh, you can say the smoke so liquefy this in the direction where you want your smoke to be So once you do that, uh, just click on OK, and here we go. Uh, now you gotta uh, add a layer mask to the layer two. So you gotta select this icon over here, which says Add a layer. Uh, sorry, this one. Uh, it says Add a layer mask. So once you click on that, uh, you select the layer two, uh, select the layer mask, and then hold Control I on your keyboard to invert the changes. So once you do that, you will see that the liquefied part of the image gets disappeared. Anyway, now let's go, uh, let's select the layer 2 copy from here and uh, once you do that, select the rectangle tool from here and now you got to select half of the face, like, uh, you know, right middle of the face, just like this, as you can see here. Drag this rectangle tool such that it gets selected uh, exactly uh, from the half of the face of the portrait just like this okay well that's not perfect let me do it again Oops. okay So once you select half of half of the face of the portrait, you just uh, go to the quick selection tool once again, and then click on click in the selected region. And once you do that, you see half of the face gets selected. Now what you got to do is right click on it and select fill. And over here, select white and then click on OK. And you see half of the face gets disappeared. Now what you got to do is you got to select the uh, eraser tool from here and uh, okay coming to the brushes I will put the link to download these uh, flame brushes so you can go check the description to download these uh, brushes and also note that I am not the owner of those brushes well okay so once you select the eraser tool uh, select the brushes like select uh, the flame brushes just like this Okay, and uh, set the foreground uh, background color as white and then uh, you know just click on this selected region and here we go we have the uh, second I mean the second part of the image gets uh, visible as you click on it so you can change the brush uh, style for variation So once you're done, uh, so once you're satisfied doing this, uh, you just select the rectangle tool once again, and then right click on it, on right click on the selected part, and then select deselect, and now click on the uh, layer mask which we have added to the layer two right over here, and then uh, select the brush tool from the tool menu, and then uh, select a brush, and click. So just like this, you can change the brush uh, style for variation. So if you're not satisfied with this, you can uh, select the layer two and then go to filter and then go to liquify. And then you can change this uh, just like this, like uh, you know, you can change this uh, to in which direction you want the flames to go.
and once you uh, click on OK you could see uh, they change I mean the flames actually change so here we go uh, I have done it it's not really very good but it's fine okay so you can do it better than me uh, if you have a lot more you know patience and some creativity so uh, okay once you are satisfied with the result what you got to do is you got to hold all these layers you got to hold control on your keyboard and then select all these layers and right click and select merge layers once you do that you will you will have only one locked layer so you got to make a copy of this layer and once you made a copy of that layer select that copy of the layer and uh, select here click on this icon over here and then go to uh, curves now over here select blue or red whatever and set the curves such like this until uh, the image looks best so yep here we go it it is fine of course it's not really very good but it's fine so once you have uh, done all this uh, you can go to uh, once again click on this icon over here and then select a uh, photo filter and uh, over here you can select uh, for the filter as you wish whichever suits the image so this looks fine right well okay so he, here we go we have the image ready and the effect is now complete so that's it for today and if you have any doubts regarding this video feel free to comment below in the comment section or email me at, anonym, at anonymoushacker156 at the rate gmail.com the email id is provided in the description below and if you like this video then don't forget to leave a thumbs up below hit the subscribe button for more videos like my facebook page at facebook.com slash techcrosh156 follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash techcrosh156 Visit my website at techgarage156.com. Thanks for watching. Cheers.